Ford's third Alpha was playable over the weekend. 10,000 people could finally play our beloved Paragon again, but the player experience got its heights and its depths. On the one hand, the overall look of the game improved enormously, but on the other hand, the game had huge performance drops and many crashes. In this video you'll see exclusive footage of the new versions of Fault and see how it went from this to this. I'll let you know everything important about the Alpha and summarize when we'll be able to play the game again. Also we'll talk a bit about why it feels off in relation to Smite and at the end there are even more big news about another Paragon 2 game. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, my name is Chris and it's your man Sharks. The third Alpha Weekend of Ford ran from February 28th to March 2nd. Whether you played the game during this event or not, the hype around Ford is huge. But this time, in contrast to the last Alpha, many experiences of the game went like this. The map got a huge amount of new details, plants are all over it now and it looks amazing. But not so amazing is the new light and color correction. It was so performance heavy, if you didn't have the best gaming PC, the game was unplayable. I could play the game on epic settings fluently the last alpha and this time I couldn't even do that on medium settings. But on medium the game looked just garbage. I don't have the most powerful PC ever, but I can play Minecraft with shaders on, so this has to mean something. The crashes were another huge problem. Many people couldn't even finish one game to the end or haven't even stayed in the game for 50 minutes before getting thrown out. Still the mouse sensitivity changes always at the start of a game or when changing other settings. The replay mode I was looking forward to disappointed me as well. Not because it is bad, no no, because it doesn't function at all. After finishing a game, replays is shown in the menu, but it never showed any replays or anything like that. After logging in again, that bar was even gone. I don't know if it was even intentional to have a replay mode this alpha, or if it was just a bug so it occurred visible sometimes. Yeah, the game still needs a lot of work. But here are the good things. Strange Matter Studios reacted and reworked the patch a bit again. And the result is BAM! Fluently running and amazingly looking gameplay. The color correction and light has been changed again, it looks way more natural now and it offers way better performance again, while still having all the beautiful details in the map. I could even play the game on epic settings most of the time. Since then the game really was fun to me again, before that update the game just didn't feel like Paragon. Now it came a bit closer to that. Mangos recently uploaded a video covering why and what it is that makes the game feel off. For me, one thing is that you don't really feel when you take damage. There's no camera shaking and the screen won't get red when low health. Those are all important indicators in the fight. I found myself fighting someone to the death because I didn't even realize how much damage I took. Some of you might have played Smite for a while as alternative to Paragon. It's the only other real 3D third person MOBA out there, so this seems like a good game to fill the void. But just like I did, many people couldn't really get into it because something felt off. In that case, for most of us Paragon players, this has been probably that you can't look up and that the map is flat or how quick teamfights go in the game. The game is way bigger than Paragon was and you easily get confused. It's a game you have to learn and really get into to become better and to really have fun. Paragon had about 35 heroes, while Smite has over 100. Knowing your opponent's abilities and traits is important to succeed, so many people found themselves just lost. But Smite is still easier to get into than League of Legends for example, especially if you want to play a third person MOBA. If you want to know more about why something feels off and you don't really know why, then I recommend watching Mangoose video about it. You can find it in the video description. Before we are coming to the big news about the other Paragon 2 game, I want to show another part of Fault that I really enjoyed. Playing Boris. Boris, if you haven't noticed yet, is the first hero in Fault that has never been released in Paragon. I already uploaded a video covering this in more detail, so feel free to check that out as well. Most of the time he isn't very strong because he needs to farm consistently to fill the canisters on his back which when activated makes him become a total beast. So as Boris it is best to stay in the jungle and farm and only come out to gank when you have all of your canisters full or to fill your canisters with the energy cells minion lanes dropped. After using them to absolutely destroy your enemies you go back into the jungle and farm again. And so on. In Smite one god who plays similarly is Bakasura. 
Instead of 4 canisters to fill up with 100 energy cells, Bakasura needs to eat 6 minions, which can then pop out with his ult to completely destroy everything. You already see I'm talking a lot about Smite right now. I personally got into it quite well now and really enjoy it. If you didn't have the chance to play Fall this time, or you did and still want to play a third person MOBA before we get the next chance when Strange Matter Studios launches the open alpha somewhere in between now and May, I can really recommend Smite right now. It is free on Steam and absolutely not performance heavy. I'll also upload more Smite videos from now on and make it a series of Paragon-like gods and relations. For the rest of this video I'll show you a bit of Bakasura, the Boros-like god, and the next time you'll see a Steel-like god which I played in the jungle with a one-shot build. Just like good old attack damage jungle steel. I also already uploaded a video showing you two gods similar to Gideon with his portals and his ult, which you can find here in the top right corner of the video. This gameplay right now is a bit older, it is from season 5 still I think, currently Smite is in season 7 but the next videos will be recent. Now, if you haven't seen it already, Overprime just showed us a video of the state of the game and it looks beautiful. They built a legacy Paragon game which is really trying to relive it with all its features and it looks just incredible so far. Though even there still something seems off, but we'll cover this in the next video. Now I hope you enjoy the Bakasura gameplay and may want to give Smite a try or another chance. Please let me know what you think about this topic, it's huge and so controversial I would really like to know your opinions on that and if you would like to watch a Paragon like God series of Smite. That should be it for now, I'm out so just like always, thank you for watching and have a beautiful day. An enemy has been slain. That was nice! Baby. An enemy has been slain. I in hell? Stop me. An ally has been slain. Oh my god, I can farm, idiot. That's dumb, baby. Looks like I bit off more than I could chew. Your middle tower is under attack. You were slain an enemy. That was nice. Wait. <laughs> 
trips, trips, trips. Oh my god, it's far, idiot. 